Hello guys, my name is Kunek and I just had a can of beer, watched a bunch of incest hentai videos and I got absolutely no freaking idea of what the fuck am I gonna say throughout this video. Still though, today we are gonna be watching Alda 2004 playing in a Sheridan, a thing which by the way I completely and utterly hate. Surprisingly not really because of the fact that I met it on a battlefield and I just started hating it, but because of a completely different reason and this is not even... I've played this thing in Armored Warfare, a game which back in the day when it was released a lot of people played but nowadays it's mostly a dead game. Still though, I used to play Sheridan a lot in that game and I gotta tell you one thing, I absolutely and completely freaking hate it just because of the freaking reason that in that game the Sheridan is one of the worst tanks ever. Like, you probably do know that the Sheridan has an access to that howitzer, that is like 150mm howitzer kind of a gun. Well, in the Armored Warfare, the howitzer do not necessarily work all that well. And most of the time, howitzer is literally just a regular gun, which just reloads twice as long and has absolutely horrific DPM. And yeah, it was no different on Sheridan. It didn't have some super high alpha damage, it had terrible accuracy, it also had terrible DPM, it had pretty bad uh, pretty bad penetration, it was just all around a terrible gun, which I couldn't get used to playing. Also, is it just me or is the game lagging a little bit? Oh, that was a nice shot into the artillery, hopefully that, uh, yeah, that guy has died. Thank the freaking god. Still though, uh, because of the Armored Warfare, by the way, I would recommend that game. It's a pretty nice game, except for the fact that not many people play it. Also, this was a pretty damn dick move. Still though, uh, the Sheridan is a pretty damn terrible tank in that game. And I literally just hate this tank because of that freaking game that I used to play a couple of years back. Also, the Amex 13 105 has... Um, 390 alpha damage? I didn't even know about it. I thought it has like 320 or something like that. Also, I seriously do feel that the game is lagging. But when you look up over here, it's constantly like around those 60 FPS. I try to like somehow tank around with the graphics and everything and just try to get it as close to 60 FPS as possible. Right now I'm r running maximum settings and everything like that and it should be running smoothly but for some reason it's just lagging a little bit hopefully it won't look so bad in the video because i'm gonna be so ridiculously sad so though so far the ala 2004 has picked up actually no kills and what the hell was that amx 13 105 doing over there in that corner like literally just sitting and waiting for his freaking dead. I got no idea what the hell he was doing. Uh, nope, those guys are behind the hell. You won't be able to shoot at them. Sorry about that. Still though, I, I just wanted to say that the Alda team is actually doing quite well. The only problem is that I looked on the map and realized that it's already 4 against 9. Yeah, that's kind of sad, I think. That's really sad, I think. Your team is absolutely... Yeah, your team is getting shit on. It's 4 to 10 now. 4 to 11. There are only 3 more allies left and there is how oh, many freaking enemies. There is 11 enemies and only 3 more allies left. 4 people in total. Oh, and there is an object 268. Uh, shot into him, he didn't get spotted somehow magically, but on the other side, it's still an Object 268, it's a Russian tank. Those tanks do not have all that much of view range. You decide to shoot, I do not know who did you shoot. You decide to shoot a standard B, which already has a pretty decent... What the hell was the Centurion doing? He just drove out from behind that corner and was like, what a biatch, and got shot in his face. <laughs> That was looking kind of funny. So though, so far you already got over 2000 damage, 2500 damage. So you have definitely carried your own ass throughout this game. And oh my god, there is a Scorpion G. And these people are better at shooting than freaking Stormtroopers. They have so far missed two freaking shells with TDs. Both those shells would be probably able to not really one-shot our hero over here, but still deal a pretty significant damage to him. The Scorpion G also right now decided to fire a higher explosive, but probably didn't know where the fuck is an enemy tank and shot it into the freaking ground. Also, I should point out, good job, 
with choosing the ammunition over here, Alda, because he decided to shoot a high explosive on, if I'm correct, both the WZ-132 and mainly the Scorpion G. And thanks to that very high explosive, you are actually able to finish off the Scorpion G because you dealt nearly 500 damage, which is quite greatly above your average roll. Still though. Here we go, one shot into the standard B, come on, another shot, no we don't need to shoot in our time, because the STRVS1 is no dumbass, and decided to shoot him himself, and get himself a fourth kill of this game, by the way, good job to this STRVS1, the stake 049, because he was able to achieve four kills in this game, in despite of the fact that his team is absolutely freaking horrific, and yeah, he just died. Still though, still though, he was able to get himself four kills and uh, oh, remember when I was saying that every single time I'm recording a replay of this game, there is just this one single random super loud hit in every single game? I got no idea why the hell is that happening, I tried to solve it, I watched like 100 freaking replays, I, I seriously wasted like 10 hours of my life just by trying to fix this shit and I couldn't fix it. So though, good job to that STRVS1 over there because he was able to get himself 4 kills and uh, as a um, underdog. That's that's pretty remarkably good result. Still though, there are still 6 enemies remaining. And the Alda is already the last man standing with the STRVS-1 die. There is an enemy capping your cap circle. Is it the Wolf or well as the Wolf and the Pershing? One shot into the Pershing, you weren't spotted, but you weren't able to damage him. The Wolf will decide to hide himself behind the hell. Oh, would you look at that, a German running away from a battle. And they say that the Frenchies were pussies throughout the Second World War. Jesus freaking hell, did you see that Waffle Maker just run behind that hill? Because that thing wasn't cowardly egg. So though, there are already two enemies camping the cap circle. One of them is the Pershing, which you right now were able to spot. He didn't spot you. One shot into him, you are probably spotted right now. Uh, there is the caravan. You weren't spotted, which is pretty damn nice, because you will be able to finish off the caravan just thanks to that. Another shot into caravan, very spotted. Oh, you were just run the hell away. The artillery was already, it's already they're probably aiming at you, unless they are both dumb as shit. Still, though, the Pershing is still capping on. Oh, there is an object 268. He was actually able to damage you. You just crash into a rock over there or into a wall over there. But the object 268 is already dead, and the artillery is blind as freaking shit. Remember, the stormtrooper seems like the entire team is a part of them. Still, though, there are two enemy tanks that are right now capping the cap circle. One of them is definitely the Pershing, and the other one is most definitely the Waffle. There is only a very low probability of the fact that uh, artillery had to drove around. Oh, there was another loud shot. He damaged your ammo rack, repair it quickly. Still, though, thankfully, the Pershing is finally dead, and there is just one single enemy remaining in the cap circle, which is undoubtedly the Waffle Maker. Still though, if I'm correct, that guy is like two shots away from death. If you are gonna be able to put two shells into him without getting one into yourself, you should be able to kill him. Come on, come on, one shell into him. You still need one more shot to kill him, but he has been able to spot you. And right now we gotta run, boy, run. Oh, another shot into him. No, the baffle decided to be a pussy once again and run behind rocks. Well, it's not really a pussy egg. It's not a cowardly egg really at all. It's more like that guy is doing the only sensible thing when he he's fighting in this kind of a battle. So though, there are still three enemies remaining, two artilleries and one waffle. The waffle, you'll be probably able to kill it. The only problem is that even if you will kill it, it's actually quite likely that you are gonna get hit by one of those artilleries, which are still camping the shit out of their own freaking spawn. So right now it seems like you have finally decided to actually kill off those artilleries. Remember they are, there is one tier 9 artillery and one tier 8 artillery. And look at the ammunition which the Elda is going to choose right now. He's on an RT hand. He's on an RT hunt, there are still no artillery. Let's drive around for a bit. Oh, and there's one of them. That's the tier 9 artillery. Tier 9 artillery. One shell into it. Come on, aim, aim, aim. It's not gonna be able to spot you. Oh, that was terrible overall, if I'm correct. Is it? Yeah, that was terrible overall. And second shell into him. And right now, right now, you're gonna go for the other artillery, which is a tier 8. 
And look at this, he loaded in high explosive because he knows that he's definitely gonna be able to one shot it, unlike the tier 9 artillery which he definitely wouldn't be able to one shot. Oh, and you were actually spotted by the GW Tiger P, which is definitely not a good thing because now the Waffle knows where the hell are you on the map. Oh yeah, so we decided to kinda confuse him by trying to drive into his cap circle, but on the other hand you start driving back to your own circle once again, so we didn't really confuse him at all. I do have a feeling like the Waffle is probably gonna go somewhere into town and just try to aim over at the hill, because he knows that our hero, the Alda, is gonna drive up to his uh, up to this hill and just drive into his cap circle, trying to kill off the Waffle, which at this po moment I do have a feeling like the Alda still thinks it's hiding somewhere behind these rocks. I do have a feeling like the Waffle would have to be a freaking bot to actually do that. Yeah. So no. There's still no Waffle. At this point the Waffle can be either over here or inside of a town. There's no chance that he's gonna be somewhere around here. There's... well, actually... Wait a second. There's no chance he could have been behind this hell. Because if he would be proxy spotting you, you would definitely proxy spot him as well. This means that he definitely has to be somewhere behind the bush. I doubt that here is any kind of a bush, but I do have a feeling like here might be some kind of a bush that would be able to hide him and allow him to spot you at the same time. You're driving around, yeah at this point I do have a feeling like he thought that he proxy spotted you, but there is no chance he would proxy spot you without you being able to proxy spot him as well. So he definitely is not over here. This means that he's definitely, definitely inside of the town. And it seems like you know it as well, so we decided to drive into town. But first, let me take a selfie with the enemy cap circle. And you start driving into the enemy cap circle. There's three minutes left on the game. I mean, you need to put one single shell into that waffle over there. If he is gonna be able to pull the trigger first and put that shell into you first, you're gonna be dead and waste your amazing game, but if you are gonna be able to shoot him first, you are gonna win and get yourself the 8th kill of the game. So who's it gonna be? The Waffle Maker, the infamous Waffle Maker or the Sheridan, a tank which I completely fucking hate because it looks like a box of Cheerios, seriously. Cheerios? Is, is that how it's called? Simply this thing looks like a box of cereals. Oh, and I just realized one thing. Uh, even the physics are slowing down the graphics card. Surprisingly enough, there is not the waffle. I actually expected some like random bush to be somewhere around here, from where he would be able to spot you. But it seems like nah, nah. There's there's a plentiful of bushes over here. Right now we are trying to look for a spot from where he might have been able to spot you, but you can find it. You're trying to look at your spa spawn. Maybe he just randomly spotted you from your spawn. I doubt that. He probably wouldn't be able to have that much view range. So where is that waffle? Where is he? At this point I do... well, he couldn't drive behind this hill. He could drive somewhere around here. He could drive over here. Well, not anymore. He could have dri drove like up on this hill as well. So where is he? Where is he? Oh! Oh, there he is and that dumbass is still looking through that gap. Oh my god. Still though, what an amazing game. G freaking G! Good job on this game! And in the post game says we may see that the Alda 2004. By the way, is this really the year you were born? Because if so, you're kind of reminding me of myself. Completely fucking terrible at playing this game. Uh, just kidding. So though, in the postgame says we may see what a truly amazing game this was, because the Alda 2004 was able to get himself. Uh, duh, 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 duh. 10 medals in total, 3 of which were uh, kinda common medals, but 7 of which were these absolutely amazing medals. Radley Walters medal for destroying 8 or 9 enemies, uh, enemy vehicles in a single battle. Colobano's medal, <laughs> the medal that literally everybody wants for killing 5 enemy players, well not killing 5 enemy players, but by for winning the game against five enemy players while you're the last man standing. A Pascucci's medal for destroying two enemy SPGs and one bell, Defender, surprisingly enough even a tank sniper, high caliber and a top gun. I'm sort of surprised with the fact that you were able to get yourself a tank, tank sniper with a Sheridan. 
First of all, it's a light tank, and second of all, it's a goddamn Sheridan, a tank which is kind of infamous for its enormous freaking howitzer. I know that you weren't using it, but even the regular gun is kind of inaccurate, so it's kind of surprising that you were able to get yourself a tank sniper. That's all I wanted to say. So, though, from this game, you were able to rack up nearly 8,000 damage, which is absolutely amazing. You were also able to get yourself 8 kills and 1,314 experience. Absolutely freaking amazing. In the detail report, we might see that you weren't even using premium. You weren't even using premium and you only lost 1000 credits. On the other hand, I do have a feeling like you haven't used a single premium round throughout the entire game, so yeah, good job on that as well. Not that you needed them, but still, you kinda get the point. Either way, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I'll see you next time. Bye!